welcome to another episode of cool, Cooking with the Cool Dad with yours truly. So, this evening, because I'm doing this as a dinner cooking, which is why it's coming out later on Monday, uh, I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different. I am going to cook on the grill, but the prep's going to be in here. Honest to goodness ice cream truck. That's freaking cool. I'm about to run outside. <laughs> um, but no, see, here's the thing. For I wanted, you know, I'm cooking on the grill, but the prep's going to be in here. So I wanted to do something a little bit different tonight. So I'm doing a grilled chicken, and I'm going to do a grilled version of Hasselback style potatoes. We'll see. We'll see what I'm going to do with that. It's going to be fun. Uh, I've been working outside most of the afternoon, so I'm. A little bit warm, but it's not too bad in here, so I don't have the air conditioning going, so you don't have the background noise. So anyway, let's drop it down, and we'll get to it. Okay, so, I know, these are all laid out. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, I thought I had chicken breasts, I had chicken tenderloin, I pulled out of the freezer, but that's okay. This will still work, because we are ultimately flexible. I have my chicken tenderloins laid out. I'm going to take some lemon pepper. And you can be a little generous with it. You don't want to be killer with it, but you can be generous with it. Now we're going to flip each of them over. I'm sure some of you have already seen what's on the side here and have guessed where we're going with this. If you haven't, you will shortly. Okay. Pardon me, I am breathing a little heavy. Allergy season is in full effect and my sinuses are raging, so I apologize for the, the creeper breathing. So now we're going to lemon pepper the other side. Now the pink tray is back with its tinfoil covering. Now here I have some nice cut bacon. I'm going to take one of my tenderloins and we're going to wrap it in bacon. I know, you said, how can this get any better? <laughs> okay, so, one piece of bacon. I got a whole brick of bacon here, so we can have fun with this. So let's see. I'm just gonna kinda keep wrapping here. Once you get to the end, I'm going to see if we can tuck it back up inside itself. What that's going to do is that's going to kind of hold it all together. Then we're going to put it over here on our foil and move on to the next one. Yep, single piece. And if you need, if you only need one piece, cool. If you need more than one piece, use more than one piece. That's the whole point. This is doing two things. One, so you get a piece like this, you're like, mm, I'm going to set that to the side for now. If I don't run out of bacon, I'll come back and snag. I don't think I will, but better safe than sorry. Okay. Yeah, I think these are all going to get second pieces of bacon like the first one did. But I'm just going to kind of run through these real quick. Now, now, I, now I'm going to save the social commentary for the end like I normally do. And I think the rest of these we will do as a montage. Now that we've got those wrapped, we're going to move on to the next step. After I clean off my countertop. Thank you. 
Okay, fresh cutting board. Forgot a knife. <laughs> so, we're going to be with another, yet another iteration of potatoes on the grill. Uh, let's see what I got to play with here. Reasonable size. going to do two tonight because that's I think that's all I'll need. Now, as I just dug these out, I am going to rinse them off in the sink. There we go. Because even though you eat like a bushel of dirty year or something like that, why add to it? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to just hit them with the paper towel to dry them off to make my life easier. There we go. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go right down, not quite all the way in half. So I still got some at the bottom there. And the same thing, I'm going to cut across all the way down. If you accidentally go through somewhere, you accidentally go through somewhere. At that point, it purely is what it is, and you can make it work, though. You'll see. Is that one, there's one on there that's a little close. Oh, there we go. Now, if you've ever done, I think it's called Hasselback Potatoes, you're going to see think that this looks kind of familiar. And it is. It's a similar concept. Ah, there we go. Now, my potatoes are ready. Where's my... There it is. However... Oops. Oh, that doesn't bode well. That does not bode well for us today. <laughs> Let's see. Can we do this... Hmm. Okay, here's where it comes down to it. Can I do this with a half or half a sheet of tin foil each? And I'm going to say I hope so. <laughs> there we go. I'll make it work. Now I'm going to get butter out of the fridge. lifting out of the fridge. Okay, now grab a boy, I got a knife that'll work. This will work. Since it's going there anyway. So I'm gonna take and cut two tablespoons of butter. If it wants to cut through the paper, which it doesn't, so it looks like I'm gonna have to peel the paper first. <sighs> Just a day of the life here. Thought I had more tin foil too, but hey. Okay, so I got two tablespoons of butter. Uh, two tablespoons of butter. Now I'm going to wrap this butter up and put it back in the fridge. Now, I'm going to cut this each uh, two tablespoons up which is annoying at best because your fingers want to melt the butter while you're trying to cut, hold it so you can cut it and what you're going to do is if I can get these to pop open again eh, there we go kind of tuck it in the slots we made again similar to the Hasselback potatoes work my way through here come back here butter and I'm using real butter because you know dairy is good and I support my dairy farmers hell yeah 
Got a lot of them locally. Uh, there we go. Plus, real butter just has a flavor that you don't really get with margarine or any of those oil knockoffs. And honestly, this is all about taste. So we want to make sure we're doing everything we can to ensure we're getting that flavor. There we go. Okay, I'm going to set this here and pray that covers. <laughs> <laughs> There's no atheist in a foxhole, they say. Well, we're about to find out. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the second one. And since we know what I'm about to do, I will montage this one. Okay, so now that we got that done, whew, and uh, before anyone accuses me of uh, assaulting a potato without its consent, we have all the consent records of said vegetables on file here, and they are all of legal age to consent. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, innuendo is our specialty. <laughs> About that tonight. Uh, we do all kinds of crazy stuff. Sometimes we even have phone sex. Don't you mean phone sex? No, Joe. Phone sex. Are you ready? You better believe it. Let me see if this going to. No. However, I will do that. Okay, that should cover. It's going to be either really good or I'm going to hell. <laughs> there it is. Okay, now to kind of link it to our chicken, we're just going to lightly dust some. Lemon pepper, but to make it stand out, uh, I've got some Parmesan Reggiano cheese. I'm just going to liberally sprinkle that over the top. Okay, I'm going to wrap these. <laughs> yep. I'm going to throw the top around for this first because it's never a good recipe unless you're throwing things around. That is the true Italian way. you got to throw stuff around. So, we're going to wrap these up. Oh, oh, I think. Oh, just made it. And just made it. Okay. One. For our second one. Ooh, this one's going to be close also. Oh yeah, just made it. And, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so on that note, I'll see you guys at the grill. Okay, so we've got our grill warmed up. We've got it cleaned off. We're gonna take our potatoes. We're gonna put them on the upper rack on the end there. This third burner. <coughs> excuse me, allergies, not COVID, I swear. The third burner's off right now, so that's just going to suck up the heat from the rest of it. Let's get our, eh, let's not drop our chicken and bacon. There we go. Now it is a little windy today, so there's wind noise and we'll apologize for that now, but too nice a day to not come out here and cook on the grill. And it doesn't have to be super neat. Uh, just want them all ready to there on the grill to cook. So we got that on. We're gonna close this up, and we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, I just flipped them. I forgot to hit the camera because, well, this is the results of cooking with bacon. You get grease, and with grease comes flame, and, you know, 
but they're starting to come out nicely. So we're in good progress here. So I just figured I'd do a quick check in, let you know what's going on. I'm going to keep that closed up and we'll be back in a little bit. And this is why I don't grill with bacon very often. <laughs> it comes out really good, but it is a pain in the ass to do. I have no lie on that. Uh, the flavor it imparts is fantastic. Um, and this one down. And people are already celebrating 4th of July. It's not even here yet. Ooh, there we go. Get these. A little bit more on these. That one's good. Okay. So, again, bacon, pain in, the, pain in the ass to grill with, but totally worth it. Nothing quite like it flavor wise. So, we are going to give it a few more minutes. We're still waiting on our potatoes as well. So, we'll be back shortly. Okay. So, just checked it. Our chicken is done cooking. Our potatoes need a little bit longer, but. I'm going to take the chicken, uh, chicken off. I'm going to take the chicken off the grill for right now. Put that inside to keep it warm. There we go. And then get my potatoes. Let the potatoes go for a bit longer. Get nice soft potatoes with all that nice flavor in them. There we go. Okay, so chicken is off the grill. And we're going to move these down here now. A little more heat going in there. Okay, back down that goes. Just a touch more heat now. And we'll be back in a few minutes for the potatoes. Okay, and it looks like our potatoes are done. So let's take these off the grill. As always, make sure to shut the gas off. Okay, and there we go. I'll see you back inside. Okay, guys, so that was bacon wrapped lemon pepper chicken on the grill, along with not quite as much of a hassle back potatoes. See what I did there. Um, I'm going to bring it up again. You know, I was going to bring this up. Here's the thing nothing brings people together quite the way food does. It doesn't matter what color your skin is, who you love, what invisible person in the sky you believe in, where you come from, none of that matters. You put a good meal on that table, you'll put a bunch of people at that table eating that good meal, guarantee everybody's going to have a great time. All you got to do, open your mind and open your heart to the food, and it does all the rest. Because food is life, life is good, let's eat some more. So take some time this week, sit down, have a meal with somebody, have a meal with somebody you might not normally have a meal with. However you manage to make that happen. Because I guarantee that by the end of that meal, you will learn something new. may not be anything major. may not be anything life-shaking, but you'll learn something new. And any day you learn something new is a great day. So take this time right now. Take a good look at yourself and see what needs to change to be able to live that most awesome life that you possibly can. Make those changes and be awesome. So remember... Food is life. Life is good. Let's eat some more. Manja, manja. Catch you all next time.